Hey guys, my name is Lena and for today's video I'm gonna show you some cute and easy hairstyles for your third and when I say third I mean like third, fourth, fifth, um, it's up to you. So third day hair and um, let's start. But just before we start, I want to say a few words about the brand that this video made in collaboration with and today it's Dossier. Dossier is the brand producing classic luxury scent at a really affordable price while keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all the expenses and brand tags. They've sent me a bunch of the perfumes already and I've been using them for some time now so I can give you my honest opinion on them. And the one that I've got recently is this, it's called Aromatic Star Anise. This scent inspired by famous Dior Sauvage, the perfume that I'm really into. I got this deodorant for my husband just because I like it so much. So I was just really excited to try this one out and see how much similar they really are. And I understand that this one is a deodorant and deodorants can be slightly different from a perfume but based on my experience this one has pretty similar scent to Sauvage perfume so when I tried it for the first time I noticed that the first note is slightly different but when it sits down on your skin for some time it becomes really really similar to the Dior one when my husband used this one at the bathroom before going to work it has specific scent that I can really recognize it from any other perfumes and this one not 100% identical but super super similar and if you want to try different famous fragrances without hurting your wallet Dossier is here to help so definitely go check them out they have great bundle deals on their website and also you can get up to 30% off for your first order by using the discount code that you can find down in the description box so yeah back to the title of this video about hair. Having a long hair, I used to wash them every three, four days. Now I cut this number to once in a six, seven days and it allows me to wear them down for two, three days in a row. And that works for me. It doesn't mean that it should work for you the same. So if you wash your hair every day or every other day or once a month, I heard some people do that. It's totally okay. You do you. So I'm just basically going to show you some hairstyles that I usually do when I still want to be put together, snatched. And the hairstyle is the big part of complete look. It can give different mood, different vibe to your outfit. As you can see now, my hair is pretty clean. I just washed them yesterday. So today it's Thursday, now we're gonna time travel to Saturday so I can show you how it works in real life. So I'm filming this on Saturday. You can see it's me and my fourth day hair situation out here. It's not super bad, but they kind of grease already and also you can see a little crimps around the roots. So let's make something beautiful from it. The first is the most simple one and it's just low ponytail. Some girls can wear it in a more relaxed, kind okay, of French style, effortless chic way. I found that for my features, the sleek snatched one works much better. So remember that you always need to not blindly copy, but try different things and always pick something that works best for you. I use the hair pomade that I usually just borrow from my husband. This one he got last time he went to a barber shop. I like it. It's definitely a pretty strong one. I'll put a link down below if I could find it online. So basically I just smooth my hair using the comb and just palms of my hand. If you have a lot of baby hair, you can even use a toothbrush around the roots to make it extra sleek. I like this hairstyle. I think it's so chic. It, it levels up more casual looks. It's also a perfect hairstyle if you are wearing some statement earrings and you want to emphasize it, make them a main accent. And you can easily play around here. You can make it more cute looking and relaxed if you leave a little bang or just pieces of hair on the front or if you go to some more kind of event thing if you want to make it more 
elegant looking you can just cover a hair tie with a piece of hair using a bobby pin and voila the next hairstyle similar to the previous one you make your hair the same on the front and then twist the tail part into a bun using second hair tie once again here you can either hide or leave your bangs out it's also leaving your back open so if you want to wear something with deep cut on the back or some interesting details and you want to show it this hairstyle is perfect and the best part about this it's super easy to do it's not some crazy up to that you cannot handle by yourself you need to go to some professional hairstylist this sleek bun is something that literally anyone can do i do it myself quite often because it's super easy and i like that even if you're wearing sweats you can just throw a bunch of jewelry on top and it instantly looks more sophisticated than if you were just wearing your hair down for the next hairstyle we're gonna need to comb all the hair up i like to do it with the same big brush putting my head upside down and only after that i put my hair back up and smooth little sticking hairs and if you put in your hair up like this it gives you this nice facelift so i'm just having my little ariana grande moment here you can also hide a hair tie with your own hair and bobby pin you also can curl the tail a little bit if you don't like it straight i like to leave it straight though and once again with your bangs here you can do it really smooth and sleek up or you can leave it down if you feel like it and the next hairstyle is naturally coming from the previous one we have the same high pony but now we are going to make a braid from the ponytail mm -hmm. you can slightly lose it to fake this thickness and fullness of the braid and this hairstyle for me has more summer vacation vibes so it's perfect for the hot season but you also can play in contrast here and wear it with more muted structured formal outfit you also can just quickly wrap this braid around to get this cute messy high bun and yeah just a little quick adjustment here and you have another easy hairstyle The next hairstyle is pretty much the same but I put just a part of my hair in the high ponytail and leave the rest just laying down. This one will look better if you're having not too greasy hair but it's still covering the very top part, the roots, so it's perfect for third day hair. And for this hairstyle I like my hair to be a little bit curly but you can keep it straight, it's completely optional. And the next way is not exactly a hairstyle but i just want to put it here because i'm usually doing a lot of fashion related videos and i think the best way to rock your greasy hair is just by covering it with some cool hat this isn't the baseball hats having their moment and also i like to wear bucket hats especially this nylon one that i got from an other stories and if you want to get some inspo on how to style your bucket hat, I have two videos on bucket hats. I'll put a link to it down below, so feel free to check them out. And I left something a little bit extra for last. For this hairstyle, you just need to use some water or sea salt spray or some other styling spray or foam that you have right now. Basically, you just need to make your hair look wet and then just fix it with a lot of gel or pomade in my case you even can add a little hairspray on top because usually less is more but here the bigger the better and it can look weird at some points but you just need to trust the process i wanted to do the hairstyle to show you and though it's not really wearable in real life it will be looking so nice for some photo shoot it looks extra chic and sexy so there are my few go-to's and if you follow me on instagram you can see i wear these hairstyles all the time hope you like this video give it a like if so and i'll see you guys in the next one bye